Hello Internet! In this video, I want to take a look at importing your own packages or uh, libraries, I guess, into Unity. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a .NET Core library, and then we're going to be importing it into Unity so that we can use whatever code we put into that library in, in our project. And so this is a way to take other libraries that you've built outside of Unity and bring them inside, or take a library that somebody else has built and maybe uploaded to GitHub or NuGet, which is the, the .NET uh, package manager and allow you to actually import them into your projects and, and use them in your game or whatever else you want to use them for. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to drop a DLL into a resources folder. Um, the general resources folder is what's going to actually load for most projects, um, but some things are not going to work across all platforms that Unity supports. Um, certain things are going to be limited for like HTML5, where you may not have full access to a computer's operating system and, and system to do everything you want, or different on, say, iOS and Android, which are just going to have different APIs and different, different things for like file access. Um, so some things are going to be limited, and there are ways to import those. We're going to be looking at importing a really simple library that's not going to be doing much of anything unique, uh, and so it should be fine to just plug it here. I'm using the same project as uh, my C sharp scripting thing. Uh, so there's some stuff already here. You can ignore that. This resources folder isn't going to exist when you create a default project. It's just something that I created and then dropped all of these resources into. Uh, and so to get started, we're just going to need to open up an explore window and let's just, is this going to work? It might, nope. <laughs> well, let's just open up PowerShell. Uh, if you didn't know, you can open up PowerShell from uh, Windows Explorer or Command Prompt by just typing it up in the address bar up there. Uh, and it will open it up at whatever address you, you're already at, um, which is kind of handy. Uh, I really just want to get into my development folder and we're just going to open up my C Sharp and we're just going to create a new .NET new, uh, and I don't actually know what kind of thing I want. Uh, it's called a class lib. Um, so I just ran .NET new. It had no idea what I was doing because I didn't provide any parameters. So it just said, here's what you can do. Um, we could have provided dash h too, but if you just type .NET new, it's going to give you all this help. Um, so we want a .NET new class lib. So .NET new class lib, and we want to give that a name. And so we are going to call this our Unity library. Sure. Um, and so that just created a folder called Unity library for us. And so if we go into that and open that up, I'm going to do uh, code dash n dot which is going to open up the current directory in PowerShell in a Visual Studio Code instance. And it's going to open it in a new window. So if I had additional uh, Visual Studio Code uh, instances running, this would create a new window regardless. Uh, and so this is what we're, we end up with. Um, so let's make that a little bit bigger. There we go. And so we end up with this class, class one, and there, there is nothing in it. Uh, so we're going to rename this to, to something we actually want. Um, so let's just call it a greeter. And so it is being weird. Uh, there we go. Um, it, it was taking a bit, but <clears throat> weird. Uh, it's, it's doing extra stuff, but that's fine. Uh, so we're, we renamed our class to greeter. And now we just need to rename this namespace from Unity library to something that's actually useful for us. Um, so we're going to call it the world of zero dot greeter namespace, I guess. Uh, let's call it dot unity dot greeter, I guess. Uh, doesn't really matter. There's nothing specific about unity in here, but we're calling it unity because we're targeting unity stuff and maybe we will add that in the future. This is mostly an example, so uh, we're doing example things. Um, but what we want is just a public string uh, <clears throat> name, I guess. Uh, let's make this private. And so we're just going to create a really simple class here that's going to take public or a private string that's called the name. And we're just going to create a new public greeter that's going to take a string of the name. And we're just going to do uh, this.name equals the name. And then what we want to do is get uh, public get greeting. Um, we could probably have a property for this, but we're just going to call it get greeting because uh, that's that's what it's going to do. Uh, and so we're going to do this and it's going to return hello and then the name 
of whoever it, whoever it is that wrote we passed in uh, and so this gives us a way to greet people and i think if we do a dollar sign there we should say hello and then the name of the person and so that should actually greet whoever whoever we want to greet uh, and so we should be able to save this and that should be pretty much everything we need to do uh, this should be a full library so all we need to do is just build it and so we can do that with just net build <clears throat> and so that built our project we now have this bin folder in here and unity library inside of there so let's grab that and pull that up in our explorer and i'm just going to drag that off to the side and if we open up unity again we can just drag that dll that we combined or created and drag it into the resources thing and so now we have our greeter inside of unity and so what i should be able to do is go into our scripts and let's just create a new one and we'll just say unity greeter and so we should be able to just run this um, so now we should have access to using world of zero dot unity dot greeter i believe and so we are going to want in our start i guess to do a uh, var greeter equals a new greeter do we call it unity greeter what do we call this no uh we called it greeter <clears throat> it might not have been compiled yet so I'm, I'm or it might not be included yet because of weird things but that's fine um so we're just going to call it uh world of zero and so that creates our greeter and then we're going to just do uh debug dot log uh greeter dot git greeting and so that should invoke our, our greeters greeting. Why is it correcting? There we go. And so we have this, we should get our greeter greeting us now. Uh, and hopefully this all compiles. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this uh, with my own libraries, but it should be fine. Um, and if it isn't, then I've done something wrong. So I'm just gonna attach this to our camera because example, um, and, and we'll see what happens. We should see in our console, a message for hello world of zero and there's a dollar sign uh, there's a dollar sign because I did this wrong that's not needed uh, but but you get the idea um, so we need to build this there are ways to make this process a little bit better but right now I haven't done any of them and so what that means is I just rebuilt that so I need to actually drag this library back and that's annoying um, Unity was thinking because I just imported a library. Uh, and so it has to uh, do a bunch of, of compilation things. And uh, turns out turns out that's a problem. Uh, so if we just drag that library back after we have done it, we don't get a new one because we deleted the old one. And now, hopefully, uh, we can actually run this greeter and get the th correct thing without the dollar sign in it. And there we go. Uh, hello, world of zero. And so that's how we get our, our basic libraries, I guess, into this. Um, there's not too much going on here. I haven't done uh, done anything fancy with this, uh, but we're, we're just kind of proof of concepting this and showing that this is a way that you can get custom code into Unity that is written for some other .NET project. Um, depending on what you're targeting, different libraries are going to work. And so in this case, our library is targeting .NET Standard 2.0. Uh, and .NET Standard 2.0 is going to be the standard library, which is used by .NET Framework and .NET Core. So it's kind of shared between them. Uh, .NET Core is going to have its own little things and .NET Framework is gonna have its own little things. And so depending on what you're targeting, you may wanna use a different library. Um, and so also there's, the, again, the, that stuff with web projects or console projects or uh, mobile apps things like that may have different requirements or different limitations on them. Uh, and some of those are going to require different types of libraries. For example, Java libraries, which are useful in like Android apps. Uh, but we're not dealing with those yet. So uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, this project has a bunch of other fun things in it. Um, the one that I'm most interested in, I guess, is what was kind of mentioned in the, on the side. It's all this uh, scripting stuff. So if you want to see that, I'll link videos at the end in the in the end card, and you can go and check those out. But otherwise, thanks for 
thanks for tuning in and I hope you hope you enjoyed it and can use this in your project. If you do, I'd love to hear what you what you make. Uh, maybe consider joining our Discord and, and sharing your projects or uh, getting some help or helping other people learn learn how to code or write games or do whatever it is that they're building. Um, but yeah, that's it for it. it. That's it for now. So until next time, see you internet.